Thank you. Hi, is that Grace? The trip? Very interesting. I've got a lot of questions to ask you and Dad. He's a bit preoccupied at the moment. Why? What's wrong? Oh, it's not his health or anything. A car was dragged out of the quarry this morning. It's almost certain Kim's body was in it. Last time I saw her alive, we had a terrible row. One of the worst. His body hasn't been identified yet, Dad. It's her, I know it is. How the hell did she end up in this quarry? I never wished this on her, you know. I didn't. Of course not. Come on, Dad, hang in there. You've got to get through this. I need to ask you some questions, Mr. Tate. Do you think we could go to your home? I'll drive. I'm his daughter. Um, is it my stepmother? Well, we'll need formal identification shortly. It's not going to be a pretty sight after being in the water for a while. I'll be with him. Good. See you back at the house. Is it your wife, Mr. Tate? Yes. This should never have happened, Kim. Come on, let's go home. She can't be dead. She can't be. She doesn't deserve this. You want a drink? No, thanks. Good excuse for one. Stepmother found dead. Trauma and all that. No. Thank you. What do you think she was trying to do, then? Make her name as a stunt driver by leaping over the quarry? Chris, the woman is dead. Have some respect. She'd have had us all out on the streets, given half the chance. Dad should have got rid of her years ago. Kim was my wife. And the mother of your half-brother. Look, uh, I'm sorry, Dad, I know what a shock it's been for you, but... She was hardly a loving wife. Once all the police formalities are out of the way, you'll, you'll see things as they really are. And how are they? Come on, you're the expert on marital relationships. Tell me how I feel. Come on, Dad, we've got a lot to discuss. Nothing that can't wait. I'm the only person who knows how I feel, and let me put the record straight. I loved Kim. Your mother was a wonderful woman, but my passion for Kim was much more. A lot of me died out there today when I saw her lying dead. So much so that if I hadn't had a baby son, I probably would have gone with her. Oh, Dad, don't say that. She was planning to run away with David Glover the night he was injured. And I would have won her back again. I hurt her and she hurt me. But when it got down to it, we were made for each other. Why? Why did she have to die? He'll never know his mother. He'll know his father. He'll lack for nothing. I know you'll see to that. 
It's the least I can do. I drove her to her death, didn't I? Suppose he grows up to hate me for that. You don't need to feel guilty, Dad. You gave her every chance in the world. He must never find out about the million pounds payoff. He has to believe that he was a product of his mother and father's love. Don't worry. Will you look after him after I've gone? Of course I will. But don't, don't talk like that now. I feel so desolate. So empty now that she's gone. 